Harlem Talk Radio brings you news and information at Stimulating Talk Radio on the Harlem community. We cover business, education, entertainment, health, politics, technology, finance, and lots more. This is Niza Saunders at AT AT&T History Makers. I'm here with Damon John, founder of FUBU and more. He's also the celebrity uh, host of The Shark. Hey, Damon, can I ask you a question, please? Sure. So talk to us about the importance of having a solid educational background before you actually get into business so that you may be able to handle and understand who you should choose as a core team. Well, you know, I think the educational background is not about choosing a team. It's about you bring a certain asset and you understand that you understand the business from the ground up. If you don't have an education in business, then you're at the mercy of people that you hire. And normally, they're going to take you for your money. So if you have an educational background in that category, it's very, very important that you utilize that knowledge when hiring people. We're in a day and age where... You know, with social networking, the litmus test is right there. You can YouTube yourself, Twitter, Facebook yourself, and you can see how many people genuinely care and follow what you're doing. And this is a great report card for anything you're doing. When we started FUBU, we didn't do that. We went out and handed people things one-on-one, and we didn't know if they liked it or not. But when people are sitting behind that computer, they can basically write if they like you or not. So that's how you use your raw talent and keep coming up with new and new ideas. Because people are becoming stars with the way that the world is going as a web-based world. I think that under, having financial intelligence is the first and foremost thing you should have because after you work so hard to make the money, then you end up losing it. So financial intelligence is important. And, you know, there's a lot of people who don't want to be entrepreneurs in one sense, but if they like products and they like and they understand numbers, they can invest in Bill Gates and Steve Jobs and McDonald's and make money as a shareholder there. So... Stocks are very important. I actually study CNBC, uh, Kramer, the guy. You watch him every day, two hours a day, and you can learn a lot about stocks. And you can actually do them yourself on your computer. Once you acquire wealth, you know, um, as we had talked about, and I said that money was a great servant but a horrible master, money is a very tricky thing. So once you acquire wealth, you have to go to a financial planner, and you should, here's my plan. My stocks, I, I leverage my stocks and I, I lay out my stocks on, and, and keep several different ones because, you know, some days tech is down and, and another, you know, farming is up. And then you put some in bonds. You also put some in an area where it can compound. And people don't understand what compounding interest is, but if you put $1,000 in a bank or you know, 200 in the bank for 30 years, it becomes millions and millions of dollars. Actually, somebody just passed away. He was, I think, 79 years old. He was raised as a son of a slave. The highest paying job he ever had was a job at UPS. And he put his money into stocks and compounding interest, and he left his family $75 million. And that is by compounding interest. So financial intelligence is extremely important. Don't live beyond your means. And there's always a formula on how much you should live, how much you should pay for your housing, your rent, according to what you bring in, life insurance, food, family. HarlemTalkRadio.com. This is the Shark Damon John. Log on and get connected.